Hello friends! In this chapter we will review the different parts of Rekordbox without going too much into details. Let's start! Here below we have the browser. In the collection tab we can check all the music available. In the Explore tab, we can see the different units and folders within our drive so that the sounds can be located. We could browse to the sound we would like to play after typing the title in this box. Above the browser, we have the decks. They are each one of the players. Just drag a song into the deck to start playing it. We could also drag a song from a folder in our drive. This is the general timeline. It shows us the song from the beginning to the end. You can notice the different parts of the song. The chunks where instruments and voices are predominant and some breakdowns where there is no bass drum. This clock will show us the time elapsed and the clock next to it the running time to finish. Here we can see the speed of the song in BPMs. Next to it we can find the loops module which is used to make loops. We can set the length in bits with these little arrow icons. Here on the left we have the cues section. They are used to set the markers or points of reference to our songs, or shortcuts to the marked points. If we click on it once, we will mark one at the point where the song is, and when clicked again, the music will play right from that point. In the central part we have volume and equalizers. They set the volume of our music and adjust the different frequencies, something that will be very useful to get our songs out of and into the mix and avoid distortion. In this section we can also find the cue buttons, which will enable us to listen to the activated channel through the headphones. This will help us to select the next song we want to play and beat match the songs manually without using the sync button. Here above we have the partial timeline. It shows us a more extended section of the song. The upper part is deck 1 and the lower one is deck 2. Our music output is what is running in the middle. At the top we have the effects module. If we want to apply an effect to our music we just have to choose it and click on the button. Here we can select two different working modes. The performance mode, which is working now and enables us to mix our music, and the export mode, which is used to get the sounds ready, export them to a pen drive and then mix them in a CDJ. Next, we can set the number of decks from 2 to 4 and the way we would like to display them, horizontally or vertically. In this course, we will use two horizontal decks. Finally, we can activate or deactivate several modules by means of these checkboxes. In the first one we can show or hide the effects module. In the following, the samplers module, which is used to insert recorded pieces of music into our mixes. Next to it we can find a mixer checkbox, which would show us volume and equalizers. And on the right we have the rec box, which activates the recording module to save our mixes. The program has more functions available, but this would be the main ones in general terms. Well, dear friends, this lesson is over. See you in the next chapter.